one of the things that a lot of people have really been requesting for Elite Dangerous Odyssey is EVA. And it may seem that Frontier at some point actually did start implementing it, however it was clear disabled. But there may be a way that you can still go into EVA mode. I'll show you how. Today's video is brought to you by Game Glass. With Game Glass, you can take control of your ship using a tablet or a phone. You can try it out using some of the free pre-made shards, or you can also make your own custom shards and share them with the community through the built-in marketplace. So gone are the days where you have no more room for all your key bindings. On top of that, Game Glass also supports Star Citizen. So follow the link in the video description and try Game Glass for free, and use offer code DTEA to get 5% off any purchase. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Elite Dangerous. So today we're going to talk about EVA, more specifically going out on a space war. Of course this is not an official thing that is in the game, but it may seem that Frontier has actually been working on it at some point, and then just decided to disable it. At least some of the game mechanics are still there, and somebody reached out to me after my recent video about geyser jumping, that there was actually a way to kind of bug your way into this EVA mode. I'm going to try to show it to you today. Now, since we obviously can't get out of our ships in space, we'll have to find another way to get there. So we're here on a nice 0.1G planet with some very, very angry geysers on it. As you can see, we have them, uh, well, all over the place. Um, and <laughs> we're basically going to jump into one, and we're going to use that to launch ourselves into space. We want to find one that is relatively vertical. As you can see, some of them here on the hillside does go up at an angle. This one does too a little bit, but it should be good enough. And once it's fully active, like it is now, we want to try to jump into it. We want to hit it up a little high. Not too close to the ground. There we go, that's it. That's more like it. And now, we're just going to keep firing our thrusters as we begin to uh, to gain some altitude here. Okay, eventually you will see that the bar here begins to go down. And once it does, we reached pretty much the top. What we're going to do now is we're going to exit out to main menu. And we're going to lock back in again. Now you can see, first of all, my mouse is all weird because I can now turn all the way around, which I couldn't do before. And if we go into the third person camera, you can see here how I can now freely spin my character around in any direction I like in, uh, in space. Now, as you can see here, I'm now able to fly my character around in any direction I like. And just to prove that the character is not just falling towards the uh, uh, towards the ground, we can go ahead here and um, and lock the camera to the environment. So we're locked to the planet's frame of reference, not the characters. You can see I'm now moving a little bit in that direction. Move a little bit in over there, maybe. It is very difficult to control. Definitely not the most intuitive control scheme, so definitely not something that's finished. Another interesting thing also here is I seem to have infinite um, jetpack fuel. So you can see I can just keep firing it. And right now we are just, well, EVAing around. We are not really falling towards the ground. So I could have to fly down there manually. Another thing I was also told is that apparently you can now mag boot onto the outside of ships. Now, I don't know what would actually happen if I try to recall my ship. Otherwise, I'll have to call someone in. Start by dismissing my ship because it's still on the ground below me somewhere. Saw so a little flash there for the ship disappearing. Cannot recall ship. Ship not in range. Okay, so we can't just get back to... Can't just recall the ship. You know what? I'll just see if I can get a hold of someone. And uh, see if I can get them to come out here with a ship. So as you can probably see, it's been a little while. Planets has moved a little bit. But I have Commander Dio977 incoming. He has been graceful enough to uh, to fly a ship out here. He should be here in, uh, in not too long. But while they're waiting for him, I've just been... Being hanging out up here, enjoying the scenery, and it is a gorgeous one. I can hear him. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's try this. I'm just going to try to maneuver. As you can see here, I, I have, uh, like, I'm not moving fast, but I do have control. I just try to align ourselves up with the, with the ship here. Let's see if we can actually get in and walk on it. There we go. I'm on board. And we're now walking. <laughs> this is amazing. 
I'm now walking around the outside of his ship. Let's go down and say hello to him in the cockpit. And we should be able to just jump off. There we go. And we are out EVA again. Oh, oh. Uh, we don't have roll, so you have to do these weird circle circles with the camera in order to uh in order to adjust your your roll. Which is a little unfortunate. Can't see anyone in the cockpit. There, that's me. On the surface of a ship. At a very weird angle, but MacBooks are clearly working. Let's try to lock this to the environment. And you can see I can... You can run around the ship as you... Uh, oh, there we go. I just managed to lose the MacBooks. There we go. MacBooks are back. Wow, this is a little weird. Clearly not working 100% as intended, but... <laughs> I'm gonna try to stand in here and then have him, uh, have him move the ship and see what happens. Okay, so when he moves the ship, I'm just sliding, basically. So I'm pretty sure this is a, a half-finished EVA module that is, well... EVA mechanic is half implemented, I would say. There's definitely some things needed, like roll, which we can't do right now, and and the Mac boots on the ships are a little buggy, but they kind of do realize when they are close to a surface and begin to uh, to walk. But the whole the moving around here is a little weird, especially without uh, without having roll. But yeah, just as you can, can like we have control over it, you can move around the ship. That's actually pretty neat. So yeah. That's, uh, I guess that is, a, let's just try the other bell, just so we can see these boots actually working. So I should be able to just, whoop, there we go, now we're on the other side of the ship. <laughs> this is fun. So yeah, EVA kind of works-ish. Anyway, if you're interested, go out, find yourself a low-G planet with a geyser and uh, call it a friend and walk around the outside of his ship. This is good fun. I'm really enjoying this, and I hope you did too. Thanks a lot for watching, and also next time, I will see you guys in space.